Well, hey there team and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Ironcast. So this is free on Epic at the moment. It's a bit of an older game, I think 2015. I remember playing this actually before I was ever a YouTuber. Um, and I remember liking it. It's kind of this like steampunk mech warrior thing. Um, but it's uh, ultimately like a match three columns like game where you sort of battle the other person through that. Um, yeah, it might not sound like sexy <laughs> when you put it, put it on paper like that and pitch it. But um, I, I remember quite liking it, to be honest. So let's sort of, you know, see how my tastes have changed. Wipe your currently saved campaign and begin a new game. Oh, whatever. Okay. Let's get into it. So this should be fun. Um, the year is 1886, and Queen Victoria reigns over her British Empire. A great war has been raging for over a decade between the British and their neighbours, the French. The war began after the French had developed a powerful new energy source known as Voltite, but declined to share their discovery with the English. France declared war on Britain in 1875, when the English government refused to return Voltite samples that they had stolen the previous year. Voltate was quite simply the most valuable material in the world, and the British Empire were unwilling to let go, no matter the cost in human life. Well, I mean, there's probably a bit more nuance to that, you know, the, the English and the French have been warring since time immemorial, basically, and uh, maybe, the, maybe there's an argument that it was a matter of time that the French would invade anyway, but who knows? Let's not, let's not speculate too much. France declares war on Britain. Over the following five years, several attempts were made to invade by both nations, with neither being able to gain a foothold lasting more than a few days. The difficulty lay in the process of trying to land ground forces. It was a perilous task as heavy steam tanks were quickly targeted and destroyed by artillery before they could move to a safe location. The Anglo-French war seemed to be at a bit of stalemate. Voltite steam tanks and ground troops. Okay. In 1882, designs for a new kind of ground unit became reality. Instead of using tracks and wheels to move these new vehicles, would walk. They would be large enough to carry multiple weapon systems founded on even the largest tanks, or found on even the largest tanks, but could move faster and for longer than the smallest scout vehicles. The 20 foot tall brass and iron walkers could also stride over regular defences and quickly move into populated areas, discouraging Voltite artillery retaliation. These mechanised war machines would come to be known as Ironcast, named after the manufacturing process used to construct them. Okay, yeah, this is all pretty rote stuff. Um, I don't necessarily want to get stuck down. Oh my goodness. Okay, now look, it's an interesting... I actually find what was written there interesting, all that dialogue, but you've got to be really careful with walls of text. What do we have, like five of them as your intro to the player experience? Uh, it's not, I don't think it's a smart move, to be honest. Um, but it's there, you know, if people really want to get bogged down in it. All right, Commander Powell, are you all right? Oh, look at this top hat. <laughs> I hear you. Who is this? Lord Butler. Uh, who is this? Do you remember? Uh, this is Lord Butler, your commanding officer and head of the Consortium of Merit. Come now. We've known each other for nearly a decade, Ares. I fear that I've taken quite a knock to the head and remember very little what has happened. Ugh, fucking amnesia. Um... It was the French Aries that have struck several key consortium and military locations to save time. We, uh, 80% of Iron Command. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bomb blood. Okay, okay. Okay. Let us start by checking system status. It appears that one system is undamaged and active, uh, weapons. Uh, is undamaged. Only one system is undamaged. Activate your weapons. Right. Uh, we can use them to clear the debris and get you out of the battlefield. First match purple nodes. Yep, yep, yep. Match at least three ammo nodes of the same color. Right, okay. So I, do I draw a line? Okay, Roger. And then we generate this this power. Cool. Can be spent to fire your weapon. Right, so we fire the gun for three purple and two coolants, which is pretty cool. Look at that, take that rubble. You'll need more ammo. Keep matching nodes. Okay. We can go diagonally. Ah, oh, okay. Cool beans. 
Look at that. Serves you right. Right, Commander, let's get those other systems active. Um, your second weapon system seems to be in an agreeable condition. Let's check your drives and shield systems. Those are your defenses and drive systems. Be used defensively in battle, providing much needed protection for your iron cast. It seems that they have been completely wrecked from the bomb blast. Unfortunately, systems can be repaired. Match green repair nodes to fill the repair bar. Keep matching until you have collected 10 repair nodes. Uh, yeah, okay. So we'll do something like this. Oh, there we got 10. All right, so you click the repair button to consume five. Look at that. Okay, cool. And get our drives up and running. So this is pretty cool. You're managing your little systems. Hmm. Both drives and defense seem to be operational, but we should test them out. Time is a factor. Energy is used to power your defenses and drives, much like ammo is used to fire your weapon. Match orange energy nodes to fill the energy bar. Right? Okay. Well, how many uh, how many things can my bar hold? I should have checked that. Eight. So it'd probably be overkill to use more than that, right? Um, you now have enough energy to power your defenses. So raise your shield. Oh, that's cool. I got like a bubble shield. Look at your top left display. Yep. Shield strength. Your shield will now absorb 10 damage for each shot of any incoming attack. Right. Okay. Okay, it's all starting to come back to me. Yes, good. How do I get more pips? Now let's... Oh, we click walk. Here we go. Oh, there we go. And we've got like a dodge chance now. It's harder to hit. The faster you move, the fewer enemy shots will find their mark. But shields and drives lose energy every turn. Indeed. Keep them topped up with energy to ensure you're always protected. Now that you are mobile, you should vacate the area. We can see a number of enemy iron casts. Okay, let's go. Getting warm. Uh, engines are overheating. Yes, we're low on coolant. Every time you activate a system, it uses coolant. Gain more coolant, match the blue nodes. Let's go. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, well, we can't quite fill it up, but that's good enough. Coolant reserves are allowed to run empty, then activate a system will overheat, causing damage to all subsystems and hull. Right, that's a big no-no. Continue moving and head back to headquarters. We have an invasion to repel. Okay. Oh, look at this. He looks like a camera. Uh, French iron cast shall I engage. I don't think you have any choice. Good luck. Combat with enemies is turn base. You take it in turns to match nodes. Yep, you can have a maximum of three matches from the grid each turn. Destroy him and get his health to zero. Okay. And then the done button. Godspeed. Okay. All right. Um, how much ammo can I have? Eight. All right. Oh, weapon A, weapon B. What, what's the difference? Light cannon mark one. Energy lance... Damage. Why is that in green? Common energy weapon. He looks like he's standing still. Damage per shot. Average damage 105, 81. You get busted, mate. Jesus. Oh, look at that. If you don't get a turn, buddy. Click here to end your turn. Oh. Down my opponent. Excellent work. Oh, no. Look at that. It's up to you. If you wish to evade the enemy and head back to base, I will not think badly of you. We need to regroup and recover our strength. Okay. Stay and fight. Yeah, let's fight him. Let's fight him. I shall fight on. Right. He's got a shield system. Weak 
Weaker shots from rapid fire weapons such as your light cannon are highly ineffective against shields. Often they'll fail to cause any damage. Right, because it mitigates a per shot. Single high energy damage like the energy lands me much better. Right. And that makes sense because the, the machine gun actually does more damage on average if there's no shield. By focusing on uh, prudent to destroy the enemy's shield system. Focus on this system. Oh, here we go. Click on this. Here we go. Individual systems. Yeah, okay. Neutralize a new enemy. Right. Focus on his defenses. Let's do that. Um, I need ammunition. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to repair. Uh, whatever. Well, he's up in his movement speed. Um... New type of node has appeared on the grid. Scrap nodes. Match three or more to earn bonus scrap to spend in the hangar bay. I'm sure the foreman of the hangar will be able to explain in more detail. Okay. Okay. Well, hang on. Um... Um, another new node, overdrive node, right. We match with two or more of any other color. All systems have a small natural chance of getting an overdrive boost, but once you've collected an overdrive node, the next system you activate is guaranteed to get one. For shields, this means increased protection, drives increased pervasion. Um, for projectiles, more shots of, and finally for energy weapons, more damage. You can store up to three overdrive charges. Uh, okay. Yep. Right. Continue your assault. Right. Right. Well, my shields. Yep. Raise them. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Done. This is cool. Shields down, movement down. I guess I didn't have the... Uh, how much they're supposed to use per turn. That's not clear to me is like I get that they're supposed to use some per turn but how much link node two different colored nodes in a single match oh that's nice multiple types of resources in one match yes it's all coming back to me now. I'll dispatch this enemy. Yes, yes, yes. I will. Um. Um.
Okay. Oh, you know what? I think it actually degrades one pip every turn. Ah. Uh, that makes sense to me now. There we go. Let's see, we'll leave it at two and three and see what comes of that next round. Yeah, okay. That's cool. I like that. It uses coolant to fire that gun, doesn't it? Well, we should be able to kill him, actually, right? I'll use the last of my coolant. Oh, I've got no ammo. Um... How do we manipulate this into happening? Uh oh. Let's just maintain. Nah, mate, no good. Ammo. Oh, whoops. Oh, well, whatever. That'll do the job, I think. See you later, son. Cool. That's the last one in bad shape. Yep, yep, yep. Remember where it is? Very cool. Have an invasion to repel. See, word, word of a second bombing run on route to my current position. Okay. It's a church nearby, codenamed the Spire. Oh, we've lost contact with Lord Butler. Right, okay, cool. Must return to the hangar. Wait, uh, orders? Yep, good, good, good. Alright, welcome back. Good to see you survive the attack. Many of your colleagues were not so... Like, I mean, okay, sure. Lots of text. Uh oh don't forget after each battle you head to the next fight in a weakened state. Do you kill any enemies or retrieve designs from some of their weapons or defensive items as blueprints? Oh. Blueprints can be built into functioning upgrades for your iron cast and workshop. Yes, cool. I see. Surely it's not free. You'll need to bring us scrap. Look, okay, we got a hundred there. And I, I got those nodes as well. Right. You can click any of your existing systems. From there, you can swap out your old systems for new ones. When you actually have a new system to equip, do so by dragging the icon. That's all there is to it. Okay. You gain XP for destroying enemies and completing missions. XP is up there. Each time that bar fills, you'll level up. Adds more health to your car. Allows you to choose new passive augmentations or abilities. Okay, cool. Select your reward by clicking on that. Right, okay, my passives are down there, systems are over there, and my abilities, Jesus, okay, my screen's covered in shit now. New augmentation abilities can be equipped by clicking on the equipment slots. Yep, okay. If you quit the game during a mission, the campaign progress will be lost. Okay, cool. Then you select the mission. Right, I think we're bloody cooking with gas now. What's going on here? 
Oh, here we go. Iron cast upgrades. Cost to build 500. Jeez Louise. All right, what's going on here? We don't have any of these things yet. Light cannon. All right, so we've got nothing. That's fine. We've got no XP either. So that served as a tutorial. What's going on over here? Hard. Oh, I don't like hard. Medium. 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 Scrap reward. 540. 515. Oh, no. Give me 540. Let's bloody go. Except, all right, yep. Very text heavy. A lot of the sort of exposition dump and dialogue. Um, but that's all right. Oh, geez. Who's this Sheila? Lady Emmeline H. Blackwell. New commanding officer. Lord Butler was slain in a blast. Ah, it's unfortunate. He was quite a man. Yes. Okay. Yes. Moving to engage. All right, let's bust this dude up. What's this do? Dunraven rocket pods. Fires a spread of six small missiles, each striking a random enemy system for 10% of the system's maximum health. Yeah, do that. Nice. Get busted, mate. All right, destroy enemy iron cast, turns remaining before mission is failed. Right. Right. All right. Here we go, look at this. God, he's better than good. So good. Um, apparently got some bloody achievement popping up, okay. Lucky me. Um, your weapons are charging. They cannot be fired on the first turn of battle. Oh, rude. Oh. I need more power. Um... There we go. Let's go. We're bloody on the move now. This little camera dude doesn't stand a chance. How come he gets to shoot? It's a bit poo. Bit poo indeed. Oh, mate. Why'd you even bother showing up, buddy? Have a seat, son. Mission of success, indeed. Good work, Commander. Turn to the hangar. Nice. Bonus rewards. Okay, cool. Oh, that was pretty straightforward. Oh, look at this. I've leveled up. Leveled up? Shot cannon, heavy cannon. Yeah, right. Oh. Right. Repair for three scrap. Cool. Select passive augmentation or iron cast ability. Uh, energy node spawn 5% more often. That sounds pretty cool. Let's take that. More passives. What's this? Matching six or more energy nodes reduces the energy cost of activating the next shield or drive system by one. The heat cost remains unchanged. In addition, the damage of all energy base weapons is boost. Wow. Okay, right. So six energy. That's what you want to do. Cool beans. What's this? 750. Holy heck. Now, what's this? Hull armor upgrade. Let's go. Okay. To 
defenses do I? Oh, did that just do a straight upgrade? 650, I suppose, maybe? I wasn't paying attention to what it was previously. Okay, cool. And then we select a mission and off we go. Right, yep, yeah, cool. We've got an idea of how this goes. I like it. It's cool. It's aged well, actually. Like I said, I, I do have fond memories of playing it a few years ago. It does get quite hard because it has that sort of roguelike element to it. Um, but, uh... But, I, but so it goes, I guess, yeah, we'll have to see. You have to play it more to see how that sort of mid to late game of a run turns out. Okay, cool. But like I said, go check it out. It's on Epic. It's free. You know, no excuses there. Get a, you know, get a slapper for free. All right, team, I might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.